Okay, I'm going to give a demo of billiards. So it's still in an alpha as it says right there, uh, but let's just kind of jump into it. So what's cool about this game, in my opinion, I guess, I'm a little biased, it's my own game, uh, but what's cool about it is that the matchmaking is done externally. So I have a ex whole external uh, server running that is managing the matchmaking. I wrote all that myself as well. So hopefully it works. It seems to have worked so far in the, in the past couple uh, public tests I've done. So that much is good. Uh, so the UI is still a work in progress. Uh, I haven't really decided exactly how I want to lay this out entirely yet, but nonetheless, here it is. So if I go to play right now, there's really only one game mode. I thought, well, maybe I'll put Cutthroat in there for the future. I don't know. I've hit eight ball. I have solo practice, 1v1. Uh, there's no one else in here. So if I try to join that match, that's not going to work. So I will just do a solo practice. And this is communicating with my external server. And uh, once it sees that it's ready to go, it will say joining match, just like that. And now I'm waiting on Roblox to actually do the teleportation. And there we are, a little bit of a flash because, well, that's just unavoidable with Roblox. So now I have to place the cue ball in. Uh, so I'm gonna place it, let's say right here. And then I can use my scroll wheel to uh, select the power that I want. I could also click and drag this if I wanted to. Uh, and then I just need to hit it. So you can see that the guides show you what ball you're going to hit most likely uh, and whatnot. So uh, there is a little bit of a bug with this. The first break, the physics are not super good. So you can see nothing much moved, but every subsequent hit seems to be pretty good. So like that hit, everything kind of dispersed. So from here, I can just kind of play pool. And I'm playing in a solo mode, and so in solo mode, there's really not any rules other than don't get the eight ball in. <laughs> so uh, we can already see that uh, the guides help me see up to two collisions. Uh, I technically could do more, but I feel like uh, at least for this, it's nice just to see two. Perhaps in solo practice, I could I could turn that up for the player if they want so that they could see more or they could turn it off if they want. Because uh, most likely if I have a competitive mode, these guides will be off or maybe only up to the first ball or something like that. Uh, so anyway, let's just hit this one, I guess. I missed, of course. And uh, well, now I can get this uh, nine ball in pretty easily. So I'll reduce the power quite a bit, knock that in. So you'll notice at the bottom here is gonna highlight that those are green now because I knocked in a stripe uh, and the red are the solids. Uh, but again, this is solo, so it doesn't care. Um, had I knocked in two of the same color, it would actually let me choose which uh, one I want. So now let's just try to get that one in. There we go. Uh, and then from here on out, I could basically, again, just kind of play pool. Uh, what's cool about the guys is I can see that I cannot get to that 10 ball without hitting that eight ball. So that's not good. Uh, let's just try to see if we can knock in this 11. It looks like we can if we just kind of skim it. Oh, not enough power. So yeah, the guides definitely make it a lot easier uh, than it probably should be, but uh, nonetheless, it's kind of a, a cool feature to have. Uh, again, if I make like a competitive mode, I will probably either turn it off or tune it down a little bit uh, so that it's not just like super easy to, you know, win. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that this is kind of the, the gist of it. Uh, I've really liked how it's been working. Uh, the physics are actually completely custom. So I am not using Roblox physics whatsoever for this, uh, which is pretty unique, I think. Uh, now, the reason for that is just, uh, well, there's quite a few reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is that I just, uh, it, it doesn't feel smooth to use just the, the Roblox physics. The Roblox physics are fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with them in and of themselves, but I don't really like how it kind of jitters around and stuff. Uh, and you could solve that by giving the uh, authority of the physics over to the client but then that would allow for cheating really easily. I, I don't want that. So I wanted something that was server authoritative uh, that you wouldn't be able to cheat with basically uh, and that would still be really smooth. And so what I elected to do is all custom on the back end. So basically when I go and I hit one of these balls, right when I click down, then the second that I click down, the server receives what I wanna do and it simulates the whole play almost immediately. Uh, if not immediately. 
and then it starts streaming that data over to all the clients. So what you're seeing happen here was already completely figured out. So by the time I click, it already knows what balls went in, which ones didn't, where they end up. And all it does is basically stream me a bunch of uh, key points uh, to animate between. And they're just vector two positions and that's it. And so, and, and there's some other metadata with it too. Uh, so then it's up to me as the client to actually simulate the 3D aspect of the ball rolling and things of that nature. All of that is just a facade. There's not actually any rolling going on here. Now, things like rolling physics are calculated within the, the physics part of it, but um, the balls that we see rolling here, they're not actually rolling. It's just uh, fancy C-frame manipulation, essentially. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I've, I've been really happy with the way it's turned out so far. It's got a ways to go still, uh, but I'm pretty happy with the overall progress of it. And I'm hoping to have maybe a more uh, finalized release here in the coming months. I still have a lot to do, obviously. The, the core gameplay seems to be working just fine, uh, but I still need to you know, build out the kind of underlying game Meta game stuff, you could call it, such you know, having the shop and everything, uh, making sure all that is working. Because at the end of the day, especially if I'm running my own matchmaking system in the back, that's going to cost me money. And so it'd be nice if I actually profited a little bit from this so that I could, you know, pay the server bills, so to speak, which are not high, but you know, it'd be nice to make a little bit off of it so that I can uh, sustain it going forward. Ideally, the profit I'd make from this would scale properly to. Uh, to with the server, the backend uh, matchmaking server uh, costs. So that's the goal. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get it out pretty soon.